Hi. Oh, hi. How's it going? Not bad. What are you doing? I was just reading the paper while I was waiting. Is there any interesting news? Well, yeah. I was reading about some new research on physical fitness. How even little activities like fidgeting can make you fitter. Fidgeting? Really? So if I tap my foot a lot or move around in my chair, I'll be in better shape? Yes. Seriously, it's apparently true. There was a research study, um, let me see where it was. Oh yes, it was at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Anyway, they found that all kinds of minor everyday activities like standing up to stretch or getting off the sofa to change the TV channel and even fidgeting could make a difference between being thin or being overweight. Hmm. Maybe I should throw away the remote. Well, maybe, because if you have a remote control, it keeps you from moving. They also found that overweight people are less likely to fidget than thin people, and that overweight people spend at least uh, two hours more each day just sitting still. And, guess what? The extra activity of thinner people might make a difference of something like 10 to 30 pounds in weight per year. Wow. I better start fidgeting more. No, you don't have to worry about your weight. But don't some people just fidget more? Some people seem like they're more nervous than others or something. Yeah, that's another really interesting point from this research. They think that people may be born with a tendency to either be fidgety or not fidgety. So either you're born to move around a lot or you're not? Huh, that's kind of discouraging, isn't it? Well, you'd think so, but the lead researcher for the project says that he doesn't feel it is. He says that the good thing is that you don't necessarily have to go out and run 10 miles. Just any little movement or activity could contribute to physical fitness. Okay, that's good to remember. I'm curious, does the article explain how they did this research? Yeah, in fact it does. The people in the study wore special clothes that had sensors in them. The sensors took measurements every half second. Uh, there were 20 people in the study and they wore the special clothes for 24 hours a day for 10 days as they went about their daily routines. They found through the sensors that thin people spent at least 150 more minutes moving in some way than the overweight people. That's so interesting. Hey, can I read the article? Of course. Here you go. Wait, maybe I should stand up and stretch before I read it. <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs>